to AMD for sponsoring today's video. Today, we're gonna be testing secret Minecraft glitches that you never even knew about. We're gonna be testing them with a brand new Asus Zephyrus ROG. Okay, five simple redstone designs. This should be good. Yo, a lava bridge? Bro, that is actually so incredibly helpful, especially in the nether. A personal plane? Bro, I want a personal plane. Dude, oh, a secret entrance? Yo, that's so cool. Okay, come on, guys. We gotta be real here. These are so helpful for the game. Color changing beacon, what? No way. The first one we have here is the lava bridge. Now, they don't actually show us how we're gonna make it, so um, we're going to... um. Figure this out ourselves. First things first, we gotta go to the nether though, everybody. So let's just real quick, go ahead and make a portal and get out of here. Ah, uh, yes, to the nether we go. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we are in the nether now, everybody. Now, uh, next thing we wanna do here is just very simply, we have to go find a lava pool somewhere around here. There will be something. Ah, yes. I don't have many blocks to cross this, but I do know a way. Okay, so we're gonna need to get packed ice. We're gonna need a few sticky pistons, some good old fashioned slime blocks and an observer. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do to build this. First, so we're going to place a slime block just like that. And then a sticky piston pointing backwards. Then we're going to put a sticky piston right here with a slime block on top. And we want to put a sticky piston facing the observer just like that. And then we should be able to go ahead and just... We're going to place a slime block and then right beside it, we're going to have blue ice. Then we're going to place two observers on top of them just like that. And then you want to put a sticky piston on the top observer facing the direction you're placing it at and same with the bottom one. And then have a piston on the bottom slime block. Then very simply, just put a slime block right here and right here. And then what you want to do from that point is you want to clear a three by three area, three blocks down. I'm going to go ahead and do out one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, this looks good enough. Once you have the three by three built out, all you want to do is go ahead and put a, you want to put a slime block right here next to the piston and then just do like a little L shape almost. And then very importantly, you want to use soul soil. You can't use soul sand, everybody. So make sure you use soul soil and you need to place it right here. Then once you're good to go, go ahead and just clear the path for your brand new uh, bridging machine. Put a block in front of the observer and... Oh gosh, I, I think I broke it. I went the wrong way. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah, I have to rethink my strategy. Okay, third time's a charm, am I right? All we want to do from this point is go ahead and clear this obsidian path. And then we can place a block in front of this observer. And it should. Oh, it's going the wrong way now. Oh, there we go. Look at it, guys. It's literally making the entire bridge for us. Bro, look at this. Now, I never have to bring blocks with me to the nether. I can literally just make this machine. And voila, look, we're on to the next island. The easiest part about this is it's not that complex to set up, especially after you've made it once or twice. So you can just simply mine these blocks and transport it somewhere else. This one is really cool and has to be one of my favorites. Super simple, super awesome, and it definitely works. We'll continue with these tricks after a short break from today's sponsor. The brand new Asus Zephyrus ROG is equipped with a powerful AMD 5000 series mobile processor, which can quickly process complex animations and graphics smoothly and efficiently, making it the ideal system for high fresh gameplay at the maximum settings. Are you busy going places? Not a problem. The Asus Zephyrus ROG is an ultra thin profile and lightweight design, making it easy to carry. While there's built in Wi-Fi 6 provides high speed internet connection for lag free online gaming anywhere. No lag time in your game time. This AMD is equipped with a 3.1 gigahertz AMD the Ryzen 9 5900 8 core processor. Plus, it's overclockable up to 4.5 gigahertz and 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM combined to produce high speed performance without stutters. Let's be honest, how many accessories is too much accessories? This AMD has a dual band Bluetooth 5.1, which lets you pair this laptop with wireless devices such as mice, speakers, keyboards, headsets, and more. Okay, let's let's see what we got here. It's a personal plane. Oh, would you look at that? We have a plane in Minecraft, everybody. These are the following items we need, everybody. We need a slime block, a quartz slab, or any kind of slab, observers, pistons, rails, stairs, and of course, a minecart. Let's build this. So we're first gonna start off by, uh, we're gonna build up somewhere, okay? Somewhere where a plane can safely fly, which uh, looks like we have to go like a uh, really high up for this one. Uh, okay, that should be good. Now we can go ahead and just put a quartz slab right here. This is going to act as the wing of the plane. Oh my gosh, I've always wanted to have my own airline and today it's happening. On the third slime block in, you're gonna place an observer and then a sticky piston. Same thing with the other side right here. 
then place three slime blocks and break this first one and then put up and put another slime block right there you're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side as well this is gonna be so sick leave a like on the video if you think this is gonna be awesome dude i gotta say this aces rog is holding up incredibly then we're gonna want to put an observer right here followed by another sticky piston that's gonna grab the entire back end of the plane then very simply put a quartz slab right here and on the other side as well that's the gonna be the front directional steering wing and then of course for the seats for all your passengers that you want to carry we're gonna go ahead and put a slab right here then put a rail down with a a mine cart and we're gonna do the same thing right here as well now it's very important make sure you destroy the rail or else uh, your passenger might go flying out somewhere once you're ready to start flying everybody just simply put a block in front of this front observer and voila you are officially in your working minecraft plane i mean guys look at this i can travel thousands and thousands of blocks fine i'm good and i can bring a passenger with me imagine if i had to transport my entire minecraft base i could literally just do it this way i could have mobile chest i could transfer all of my pets dude this would be incredible i wish i knew this before well, good day plane it's been a great time knowing you but on to bigger bigger and better tricks now this next one's really cool because if nobody is expecting a secret room like this, they'll never know it's even there. Ooh, a rune portal. What are the odds of that? Let's just say for a moment, this is where my base is, okay? We have an item frame right here. Maybe I have a chest and a crafting table. Looks pretty good, right? Well, we're gonna set up the secret base real quick. So first we need the following items. We're gonna, of course, need some redstone. We're gonna need a redstone comparator. And we also need a sticky piston. Now behind this room is where all the action starts, okay? right here is where our item frame is what we want to actually do here is put a redstone comparator just like this and then we want to wire it up to a piston that we're, that we're actually going to put right here so if i go ahead and wire this up now if i go ahead and put an item inside of the item frame just like this as long as you have the item pointed anywhere in this direction the redstone will be retracted but the second that you move it or turn it the redstone retracts and you can enter your incredible secret minecraft base yes we've seen variations like this kind but guys i cannot forget to mention that these are some of the greatest secrets you can ever do in minecraft and they are so they're so incredibly good some pros even skip past them okay another nether one this one has to be good oh netherite enchanted boots you might say oh okay this should be interesting wait it has frost walk on it huh ross walker what what do heck what no there's no way that's legit bro what no 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 i don't believe it something smells a little bit fishy about this one but let's go back to the nether to test this oh what the where did i just spawn wait did i what look what there's just random obsidian here bro what kind of spawn is that okay that must be rare all right, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and grab some netherite boots and we're also gonna start enchanting them. Enchant, zero nine shark boy, frost walker. So apparently if you have frost walker enchantment on your netherite boots, it's supposed to turn all of the lava into, in, into obsidian. Is that, is that real? I don't know. All right, well, let's test it for ourselves. Okay, we are in survival mode. Three, two, one. Oh, nope, nope, it does not work at all. <sighs> Okay, so they tried clickbaiting us. Well, guess what? I found a way to actually pull this off, everybody. Now, this one's gonna require some command blocks, so follow with me for a sec. Give 09 shark boy command underscore block. We're gonna have three command blocks just like this. We're actually gonna change them all to be repeating command blocks. Now, bear with me, everybody, because this is where the coding begins. In the first command block, we're gonna type in the following. Execute if entity at a nbt equals inventory slot 100b id colon minecraft netherite boots run set block squiggly line squiggly line squiggly line negative one minecraft redstone block all right the second command block we're gonna type in the following set block squiggly line squiggly line squiggly line to air and last but not least the third command block everybody execute at at a run fill squiggly line two squiggly line one squiggly line two squiggly line negative two squiggly line negative one squiggly line negative two minecraft sidian replace minecraft lava aha we have done it now all we have to make sure we're doing is we are wearing our netherite boots you don't even have to have them enchanted with frost walker this should work all on its own now we're gonna be facing north while we're doing this so we should be facing this way oh, oh 
Oh, look at this, everybody. It actually works. <laughs> so I went and changed it so I can use diamond boots for it. But dude, it actually, look at this. It literally works and it is so cool. Oh my goodness, bro. Now I can edit the code again and change it to be a netherite. Netherite boots. Netherite. Now if I put the netherite boots on and I hop down into lava, yeet. Look at this. We officially made Frostwalker for netherite bootalones. This is so freaking awesome.